Hi, YouTubers. I got screwed up on my... <laughs> on my uh, Let's Go Help uh, video. I, I started TikTok and YouTube, and then when I got the Let's Go Help, it just didn't want me, so I got to restart this bloody thing. I'm sorry, but uh, we're going to talk about uh, programs to change your life. Uh, and uh, it, the government really has programs for this. I mean, it, it certainly sounds bizarre, uh, but it, it is true, and it's real, and therefore anybody at any age, uh, and that's what I want to teach everybody about. I mean, I've been doing this stuff for, you know, 50 years now. Uh, so I feel I finally know what I'm doing and I get better at it. <laughs> you think I'd get worse, but that's not true. I get better. Uh, and also I get better in helping people because trying to understand where they come from is the hardest point. The programs aren't going to change, but what changes is me learning how someone knew what they have to learn. And that's what I do. So... Uh, Okay, let's see. Let's get on the show. Uh -huh. Yeah, it, it's money that's just, just sitting waiting to be asked for. And, and it's different. So that's why it's different than what you're used to. So what you have to do is learn a little different procedure uh, on tapping into this. It's not how the rest of the world operates. Uh, these are government offices and nonprofit organizations, and they operate differently than uh, the people who get money from you. Uh, and so you have to learn that. The, these are, are different animals. <laughs> and, and you're used to dealing with people who get money from you, okay? But you don't want, you know, this is not that way. Okay, let's see if we get in here. Uh, let's go help. Oh, it still has us there. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, well, if I'm here, I think people see me here. <laughs> so that's good enough for me. But it was dark just a little minute ago. Uh, let's see, no, I don't have that. So let me get the links that I want to get for members. Uh, uh, then we'll go over these new programs. Uh, and, and they change every day. And no matter who is, becomes elected, uh, there are going to be new programs. I mean, that's what every elected person does. It's just they create programs for their constituents. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just, it's just new grants for other people. And they all build up. They never get rid of them. So that's why we have all kinds of grants for everybody. Everybody's happy. Not really, but they think they are, right? That's what counts. Okay. Okay. Let's go help too. Where are you? Uh... Okay, it still has there. Okay, chat. Okay, let's see if I could get into this. Okay. Right, okay, I got into that. Okay. Okay, so what I want to talk about is uh, government money programs that change your life. And, and that's really true. It's always been true. The government has trying to change everybody's life since day one. So they create programs uh, to change your life. Uh, <laughs> and that's what it is. And we sit there and what we do is then go to Google to find out programs to change your life or where to spend money to change your life. But you don't have to do that. And that's why you have to stay away from Google. These are programs. I, mean, I wrote a book about this. Gosh, uh, probably during the... Uh, Clinton years. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and they were the ones that set up the Career One Stop Center. 
Now, the Career One Stop Center, we used to have all kinds of programs all over different agencies or whatever that gave money to train people or, or to get them different kind of jobs uh, so they're not left behind as the economy changes. And, and that is still one of the best organizations here. So, and that's if you go to uh, careeronestop.org. Okay, there's money there, lots of money for you to change your life. Uh, they have programs if you're really low income, and even millionaires could use these programs. See, that's a very, and so if you're in poverty or a millionaire, these programs are available to you. you know, uh, anything, I mean, doctors go uh, to get mo use money in these programs uh, to become, to, to learn a new specialty. You know, they go somewhere for you know three, four months and learn a new skill so they can charge more and <laughs> increase their practice or whatever. And that's what the government pays for. So it's for you too. You want to become a, a computer expert? Well, they'll train you in that for free. And it's either paying, I mean, there's all, every, every place in the country is different. They all have different programs. Uh, and. And, but most of them will have at least to give you like $10,000 to take a new course, to get a certificate or whatever, to get a new job. And they have other programs uh, for short term, but then they pay you while you're doing short term. So you may be making $20 an hour or something like that, but you're learning a skill. See, and most of these jobs, I mean, most of these training programs are people without college degrees. So to get you, if you don't have a college degree, to get you a skill that makes an income that is a college degree. And what's happening now in our society, more and more jobs are, are, are that way. They're, they're paying college degree salaries without college degrees if you have the skills. So that's what, you know, Biden has put a lot of money in and it's starting to unfold. See what happens when Biden does something, I mean, for a year or two, he's putting money, but a lot of it hasn't even come to flourishing yet. See, it has to go through the monster government and be digested and be made available to the average person. So that takes a while. You know, uh, and and it's now uh, flourishing. Tell you the truth, uh, and uh, it's available to people, but people don't know about it because you won't find it in Google. So you really have to go to careeronestop.org and make an appointment. And that's another thing. We're we're taught. You know, most of us have skills to go on Google, find somebody who has something to sell us, and negotiate with them. Okay. This is a different skill. Uh, it, it, it is uh, the people who give out this money are not looking for you. <laughs> See, the people who uh, get money from you, they spend a lot of money trying to find you, okay? So these programs, because they give you money, not take your money, you have to do the effort to find them. Now, uh, now the problem with that is that there's so many of them, uh, you wouldn't know exactly what is for you, and you have to find the right one for you. And that takes using the telephone, not just going online and finding an application. Uh, if you want to, <laughs> you know, if you want to pay money, you could do that. But if you want to get free money, you can't do that. You have to start calling people that are in the business to help you. And that's it. There's millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of people all over the country that get paid by the government and nonprofit organizations to help you get a better job. Okay, so that's what they do. You have to talk to them because they all have different areas of interest, different skills, different whatever. So what you do in your area where you live, you start talking to all these people to see, to ask them what they think is the best place for you. They're going to know this situation better than anybody else on the planet. Better than me, because I study everything in the government. That's too big. But they're just studying, uh, involved in training programs where you live, okay? So that's all they do, is work with training programs where you live. Now, the training programs they work for with, may not be for you. But they, because they're in that milieu, 
<laughs> of people, of helping people for free uh, to get a better job. They know the other people who are in that business to do that too. I mean, it's natural. They don't, they're all not going to know everything and everything. That's why the real work for getting help and solving your problem, whatever it is, is talking to as many people as you can who are in the business of helping people like you. And there's lots of people like that. Like right now, you could go to uh, find help, F I N D H E L P dot org. Okay, you go there, put in your zip code 2009, and then put in job training. Okay, let's see how many are in my zip code. Okay, there's 300, you hear that? 349 nonprofit organizations and government offices that give free job training. 349. I mean, I, I, you, 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 you can't make this up. <laughs> and you think the government has one job training program? <laughs> that, not, not. You're wrong. And next guest. <laughs> no, man. 349. If you got a job you hate, <laughs> you got no excuse, man. There's 349 places in your zip code, at least in my zip code, so maybe you only have 100. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> and the place to go even, I think, first before you go to the 349 is careeronestop.org. That's where you go first, careeronestop.org, okay? You make an appointment, you put in your zip code, and you make an appointment. That means a face-to-face, -face, because they're in your county. Or maybe they do it online or over the phone or something like that, but you want to talk to them, okay? Because that's how you get more out of people than anything else. The more personal you are. People like helping people. They don't like helping digits. You know, I could flunk you because I don't know you. Or I don't relate to you as a human being if you're just sending me emails, you know? No, but when I see you face to face, it's hard to flunk you. And it's, it's more that uh, people want to help you as much as possible when that happens, okay? So that's why you have to get your ass <laughs> off, the, off the chair, make an appointment, go down and see them, and then what do you do when they have nothing for you? Okay, what do you do? You go to findhelp.org, put in your zip code, and you put in <laughs> job training, and you got 349 more nonprofit organizations that will help you get a better job. 349. So that means it's gonna take work on your part to go through that. But even if it takes you a couple of days, a couple of hours, a couple of weeks, what the hell? This is your life you're talking about. And if, if there's a place there that somebody's gonna give you complete money, not only to pay for training, a lot of these will pay you all the living expenses while you're tra uh, training too. And actually uh, what's going on now a lot is what's called apprenticeship programs. I mean, you, you could even be an apprentice teacher. That means with just a high school degree, <laughs> you could go become a teacher. And you work at the school, and they teach you how to be a teacher. You take some classes, you uh, help the teacher in classes, and you do other stuff at the school. See, that's it. Or computers. You're teaching, you're learning computers in the classroom, you're working in a company to uh, part-time to help them, and you're making forty or $50,000 a year, and then when you get rid of the training, then you're up to a $100,000 a year job. And that's what we have in this country, and that's what's there for everybody. Just because you live here, that's what's important. And that's why I got so excited and frustrated we have all this stuff and help, and so many people are stuck, you know, in, in doing things that are not good for them or their family or anything they're doing. They hate it. There's no reason to do that. But 
the difference is, are you going to take the effort to make that change? It's all about you and how much effort. That stuff is going to be here no matter what you want. And no matter who comes into uh, power, you know, in the White House uh, tomorrow or maybe next month or whenever they finish counting this stuff, whenever that happened, it's still going to be there. And it's not gone away. And it, it'll, it'll just change, the new president will just change things on the margin. You know, that may be interesting to you and maybe not. There's so much there already baked into the system. You know, already baked in the system is $17,000 per person every year in grants. That's baked in. That's there no matter who's in the president next year. No matter who's in present next year, the only thing that'll be changed is our debt. We'll probably have more debt. <laughs> Nobody wants to pay for anything. It's our new stuff. Hey, what about my stuff? <laughs> who's going to help me with my stuff? <laughs> and, uh, and they promise people because that's how they get elected and they feel they have to do it. And, um, Somebody's going to have to pay someday. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'm really not convinced of that. I don't understand. I got an MBA in computers and computer science and uh, economics and all that stuff. And I'm still not sure how this shit works. <laughs> so, uh, it is, but you got to take care of now. I mean, that's long-term stuff. And remember, no matter who is elected tomorrow, is that tomorrow or today? We, <laughs> it's Tuesday. <laughs> it must be Belgium. <laughs> uh, that it's going to be there no matter what. So don't worry. This, this country is on a course. I mean, I sort of see it like I was a Navy ship driver. And uh, I sort of see our country like a big ship, you know, driving a ship in the ocean. I mean, having the right direction is important uh, because... It, it, even though it travels slow in retrospect and it's big and, you know, there's nothing to bump into <laughs> or whatever. But if you're off by a half a degree, man, you wind up in the next continent <laughs> in the wrong continent at the end of five days. You know? <laughs> and that's what we're like. We, you're not going to change anything, you know, a uh, year or two or whatever. But in the long run, yeah, you, you, you're going to wind up in a different place. Uh, and, and that's what's happening. So you got to take care of you now and uh, everything that's available uh, for you to do, no matter what all these other uh, politicians are talking about. Don't wait for that uh, because that could be Goldilocks on both of them. They have to get through Congress and all that. Maybe they could. It doesn't matter. There's enough there now for anybody living in this country to take advantage and change what they're doing in life and get ahead of life uh, and not behind in life like most people do. Uh, and most people are, they're stuck behind. Oh, I have a college degree, but I'm not using it. Well, you are and just don't realize that <laughs> you didn't get a job that you needed, right? So if you have college debt, then make sure you go to financial aid, uh, 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 studentaid.gov and apply for all the programs that will eliminate some of that. Okay, make sure you do that. Uh, make sure I'm trying to get land in South Carolina in my name. There was no will in the process of draining, and the process is draining. I'm following suggestions received, putting the work in, calling, well, good for you, Grace, yeah. Putting the work in, calling, making contact. The agencies are helpful. Hope you received my video of Thanksgiving. No, where did you send it, Grace? I'd love to see videos. Please. Uh, uh, yeah, and make sure you hear from me, okay? You could send it to Lesko Free Radio. Yeah, I get so much stuff, so it's easy. Okay, Grace, please, please, you know, please. Uh, I don't want, I mean, I'm an old man, I don't want to miss people who were saying nice things. Um, I wish I could get assistance in getting my car fixed. Uh, I did the find help that or I couldn't find any help. Did you call those people, Charlotte? Uh, call the people. 
So you call everybody in Find Help under car repair. What's your zip code again? I want to make sure you got the right thing. Uh, Charlotte, what's your zip code? Zip code, okay. Uh, 30046. Where's that? Uh, Georgia? Uh, okay, 300. I see 41 organizations, free vehicles. Well, maybe a free car would be good too. Uh, therapy, travel, okay, uh, virtual car seats. There. Well, see, even therapy, travel, or mobility is freedom. Uh, yeah, anything that is with cars, pay it forward, patient travel, financial help, the pink fund, okay, veterans financial. See, even if it's only for veterans, you call those people up anyway because that means that they have car repair, they're maybe likely to find, to be aware of other car repair, okay? Here's the link. So make sure you call everyone. The other one too, uh, are you working now? Uh, Charlotte, do you have a job now? Because another thing you could do is, uh, Okay, we need a free car. And to, okay, uh, go to findhelp.org. Look at that link I just put up. Uh, Norma, look at the link and then change it for your zip code, okay? So you want to go to findhelp.org and put in cars. Yes, I did. It's not there. Uh, oh. Okay, let me see if I can get, help you get this. Thank you, Norma. That's wonderful to hear. Uh, that's the most important words in the world to me. Okay, also then, Norma, okay, if there's nothing in car, and as I say, when you go into the car results, you call anybody with transport, uh, helping people with transportation. And even though it doesn't look like they'll help you, that's okay. But they're helping people get transportation, and that's what you need. And you'll know. The other thing you do is search under emergency. Uh, or financial assistance. Financial assistance. Let me, let me get your... Uh, and also in Georgia, uh, look for financial assistance because you could use financial assistance to pay your car. So it may not be money set aside to pay your car. So findhelp.org and 95953. Okay, financial. Okay, now for financial assistance in 95953, there are 268 organizations for financial assistance. Now, I'm sorry there's not an easier way, but you gotta go through that list and start calling and talking to as many people as you can, even though they don't say 
they're giving it for car repairs. As long as they're giving them financial assistance, you can ask them, if they don't do it, to recommend other people. See, they're more likely to um, do that than anybody else, and, and, or to know that than anybody else, because they help people like you every day. Uh, so that's important for you to do. Okay, let's see what you have. Good morning, Matthew, everyone. That's what I feel. I'm in a hurricane. Milton survived. FA came and then denied us because we have homeowner's insurance with the death. It had fourth and down. I wouldn't need help. Uh, I'm still sitting in my house with mold. and uh, Now, that doesn't sound right. Uh, so I would start. FEMA has an appeal. Uh, okay. And it should be money for that is not, you know, that, that you're not covered insurance. But uh, let's see. Uh, FEMA appeal. Okay. So you do this. Uh, here's the information on FEMA appeal. Okay. And see, there's maybe other organizations too that are doing them for uh, like um, uh, deduction money or whatever you call it. I'm sorry, I don't get names well anymore. Uh, but what you want to do is call each of your elected officials and the national elected officials. Call your congressman and two senators' office. Okay. Okay, here's the uh, number for that. So you want to call your congressman? Uh, I'm in data. Okay, go to that website, put in your zip code. Uh, uh, thank you, Norma. And send me that. Uh, was it you, Norma, going to send me the video for Thanksgiving? Tell uh, us say hello, Phoenix. Uh, and then the other thing for the four thousand dollars you need, uh, go to find help. and search for financial search under the keyword financial assistance and keep calling people i mean and it may take you 50 calls i mean i don't know it may take you five three whatever uh but i know you won't get anything if you don't by the way matthew my late mother loved you oh how nice she used to your book information i say to move us here in Florida. Ah, for the hurricanes. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Thank you. Uh, that's important. Today we're going to get assistance from the VA to help us move. We have to be out by December 31st. Oh, well, great. You got help to move. Make sure you find all the things to move, okay? Our landlord is selling. A long time ago, she said, you're the smartest man. <laughs> I got ex-wives who maybe differ with you. <laughs> well, that's awfully nice and wonderful to hear. Thank you. Because all, all I got left to grow now is my heart. And that's all I want to concentrate on growing, is loving more people as much as I can. Because the one thing left to grow at my age, man, I just get slower and, you know, and stupider. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't get faster and stronger, <laughs> but I could love harder. Uh, I tried to find help, but some of the officers tell you there's, yes, no, and a lot of them will. But that's, if anybody has them, it's going to be there. Uh, it's like, you know, getting a job. A lot of them are going to say, you know, we're not hiring, but they're the ones that are hiring, and it's not a match for you or whatever. And that is normal. You have to uh, 
and you have to persevere through and keep calling. You're done when you run out of places to call. Uh, I know for sure, I can't guarantee you're gonna get it, but I will guarantee you won't get it if, if you don't keep calling. And that's the one thing we know for sure. Our landlord is selling. Uh, hmm. Okay, uh, I guess you're past that. Uh, let's see. Uh, make sure you see item number three uh, up above in the Meta Grant Report for paying for other expenses. Looks like you guys are starting to uh, slowly more and more people are getting on the phone and calling because that's the key to this and most people you know if if you're not involved with us uh, are still trying to find the perfect website uh, listen guys I, I'm gonna have to go my throat is um, I have a little bug in my throat that I just can't get rid of it's not debilitating uh, but it's just annoying and I got to do a, uh, a podcast in a, oh, about an hour or so. So we got to save some of this. Uh, but thank you for uh, sharing with me and uh, uh, for everything you do for us and me. Lemon and tea, I'm right on it again. <laughs> uh, and I just have a heart full of Oh, it just seems exploding when I r run into all you wonderful people. So thank you for growing my heart and making this special for me. I hope it helps you too. Thank you, Norma.